who wants to hear the story how I single-handedly got my school shut down for a month when I was in high school. This will be several posts so bump the thread if you are interested. Be me, sophomore. A loner for the most part, have a few friends but they aren't that close. Ride bike everywhere greater than my mom is prego with a girl due in a few months. Dad is at work a lot, gets called in a lot so I get to spend actual time with him maybe once a week. Ain Saturday mom is having baby shower, dad is at work. Guess guys aren't allowed to be at baby showers smom gives me 40 bucks and tells me to go to the mall or movies and get food or whatever while she has the baby shower. Ride bike to mall don't really know what to do. Walking around different stores end up in Spencer. Looking at all the different gag toys when I see it. Ass spray. Spray a little in the air and smell. Putrid if you have never had the displeasure of smelling this stuff, imagine leaving a cooked egg and a massive wet shit in a jar for a good week and then opening it to take a whiff. It's horrible. One of the worst smells I could think of. First thing that comes to my mind is weaponizing this stuff. Millions of ideas are flooding my head at once. This is too good to not pass up. Buy it. For once I couldn't wait for the weekend to end and go back to school. Some is pre-typed but bear with me anon. Monday, in first period class. I am wearing a long hoodie with my hand tucked into the sleeve with my hand gently holding the spray bottle. You have to be really cautious with this stuff. One misspray will leave your clothes reeking with the stench. This stuff is no joke, it's really strong. I'm surprised you don't have to be 18 to buy it, that's how powerful it is just looking around the room waiting for an opportunity to spray something. Get a better idea. About a minute before class is over nonchalantly walk by the door and give a single spray. Just one greater than no one caught me. 30 seconds later a kid from the back yells, yo did someone rip us? Silently snicker. More kids from the back smell it than the middle it eventually makes its way to the front. Everyone rushes to get out of the classroom. A dude literally shoved a girl out of the way just to get out of class first. All of this from just one spray. No one person should have the power to cause this much chaos, yet I possess this gift in the palm of my hand. The class incident spreads around school by lunchtime. Get excited as I quietly eat in my sandwich hearing some classmate talk about how awful the smell was. Few days pass I've been contemplating different uses for spray. Today was a rainy day. During lunch everyone packs into one of the buildings that has two floors greater than bingo. About 200 kids on the upper floor. I was talking to one of my only friends, we were at the very end of the hallway. Decide it's too crowded up here we should move to the bottom floor. I haven't told him about the ass spray, I don't intend to greater than not really close with anyone, can't trust him to keep a secret. As we are walking down the hallway, I'm cradling the spray in my hand tucked into my hoodie sleeve. As we are walking and talking I'm giving the occasional spray, no one is noticing greater than finally the commotion starts at the end of the hall where we started. It's quickly making its way towards us. Everyone is distracted which gives me the opportunity to spray some more. Finally friend starts smelling it and covering his nose. I'll play along and act like I'm disturbed as well. At this point everyone is trying to rush downstairs. Kids getting knocked over everyone is screaming. Teachers are coming out of the classrooms to assess the commotion. They obviously figure it out right away. Friend is trying to get downstairs too. I'm just watching all the disorder I've created. Fight off the urge to give an evil laugh. Next week. Talk of the smelly building dies down. Perfect time to stir the pot. Over the weekend I bought a box of disposable gloves so stench doesn't stay on my hand. Thinking of my next victim. At lunch here Hallie and her friends. Class hotel but 10 out of 10 bitch. Typical doesn't show you any kindness unless you are a jock or as hot as her type shaving typical popular girl discussion basically just trash talking everyone that isn't her. Time to ruin the one most important thing to her her hair. Take straw and some paper, run to bleachers and hide under the glove up and soak a paper wad with the spray. Shove it into the straw, use a twig to get it into the middle greater than toss gloves, run back over to tables greater than her back is facing me, quickly launch spitball to her hair. It rests just perfectly into her hair. Gave it about a minute. Did one of you fart? The girls get up and move but the smell is attached to Haley. They find out the smell is coming from her. Specifically her hair. Haley starts crying. Everyone noticing commotion, they make comments on her hair. She runs to bathroom crying and embarrassed. She's now known as the girl who doesn't wash her hair. The face when you disrupt the social hierarchy of your class with one spitball. This next one is gonna be a two-parter, thanks for being patient anons. Was fond of the spitball idea, used it several more times over the next week. 
landed it in people's hoodies and backpacks they all would eventually notice the smell sits like a discreet projectile fart bomb. This stuff is so strong it was like engaging in chemical warfare greater than one lunch I noticed Bryce Haley was an angel compared to this meathead football player huge bully specifically made nasty comments to its kids with known disabilities right in earshot. It's a Friday night home game tonight. Perfect time to test out my new device and same concept as the spitballs but I poured some of the spray in a squirt gun. If one spray can clear out a room, imagine soaking someone's clothes in. Luckily I also know where his locker is. I don't even need to break in the lockers have little holes like pig related. Right after school I run to the locker room. All his football gear is in, pads, pants, and jersey. Pull out the squirt gun and unload over every piece of gear I can hit. I go until there is nothing in the squirt gun. The smell is leaking out of the locker already. Put squirt gun in plastic bag, back in backpack to conceal smell. This all went down in the span of maybe 45 seconds, I got in and out quickly. Game starts in 2 hours, better go get a ticket to the game and enjoy the show. Build up the courage for the final offensive, sneak to school at night. Know how to get onto the roof by climbing the awning thing over the main entrance. Get up there. Go to the air unit. Soak rags in the liquid. Attach one to each air intake with zip tie. Climb down. Shower. Next day. Fine in the morning. HVAC is shut down at night to save power. Starts up in the middle of first period. People start noticing. Someone pulls a fire alarm. Huge commotion. Everyone running to escape. Fire department hazmat team called out. Coming down the main stairs. Someone at the top trips. We all start falling. End up on the floor. Do the dinosaur. Part 2. Game is about to start. Unfortunately I don't know what the reaction was in the locker room. But I know he isn't going to get the smell off before the game. Visiting team is already on the field. Cheerleaders and pep squad doing their thing. Finally our team comes running out. Bryce is trailing about 10 feet behind the rest of the team. My biggest regret this night is not recording the game. Kick off visiting team's ball. Bryce tackles the guy so immediately shoves Bryce off him. Ref runs over to give a penalty. Gives Bryce a nasty look. Oh shit you not I swear I lip read from the ref you smell like shit. I'm giggling in the stands like a weirdo. Game continues eventually we have the ball. Bryce is going to hide the ball. Guy behind him is crouched down with Bryce maybe two feet away from him. Must have squirted his pants thoroughly. He's delaying from calling the height greater than he stands up, takes his helmet off and vomits right on the field. Crowd is disgusted. I was dying from laughter. Game gets delayed while the field gets cleaned up. Coach benches Bryce. The team and cheerleaders don't even want to be near him. Eventually coach kicks Bryce out the game and into the locker room to change. Crowd is confused as hell. Meanwhile I'm sitting in the stands proud to be the one who ruined the bully's reputation. Also we lost the game. After the squirt gun incident I was almost out of the spray, so I ordered two bottles online. The chemical attacks would be put on hold until they ship. That following Monday, everyone knows what happened. He is humiliated his football friends hate him. Girls don't even want to talk to him. No one can let him live down what happened. He sits by himself now. I so wish I had friends to tell, but it's better this way. Anyone who knows could reveal my identity. Over the next week everyone is talking about the smells potentially being a prank. My name is never dropped, I'm way too under the radar. Or so they think. They all suspect someone popular doing this since it has mostly been cool kids getting hit. This needs to go down as a legend at this school but I need a name. Fart boy. Nah lame. Innis to stink. Getting better. No no I got it. Shitstorm. For this day forward, shitstorm will haunt the school shitstorm strikes when you least expect it. Just in the nick of time two fresh bottles of ass spray just came in the mail. I'm spreading the word of shitstorm through several random chemical attacks during lunch while no one was looking. I'd open the backpacks spray a few times. I'd go to the locker room while it was empty and spray someone's clothes not to the extent I hit Bryce with. If people left their hoodies unattended you guessed it. Elpri wrote a bunch of handwritten notes that I'd leave with every single person. You've been nose punched by the cynical shitstorm. It doesn't take long for word to spread. It's even caught wind with the faculty and teachers. We get an announcement on the speakers one day from the principal. To paraphrase whoever is making the entire school smell when you are caught you will be punished to the full extent of our school code. That won't stop me. The reign of shit storm has only begun. After that announcement ease up on all the attacks greater than not because I was scared. No no. 
Because homecoming was on its way. Of course, it was all part of the plan. I had to put everyone at a state of ease make them feel like the prank was over. Oh no, this is just the calm before the shit storm. I went ahead and purchased 10 bottles of ass spray. Here was the plan. I knew exactly where the ventilators for the auditorium were, where the homecoming was being held. During lunch the Friday before homecoming, I walk into the room with the ventilators tied a shoelace around the doorknob and hid an old backpack with an old scream mask for Halloween I used years ago and a change of clothes, hoodie, jeans, old running shoes. I'll also hid a wire hanger in the indoor bleacher. This will come into play later. In total I had 11 and a half bottles of the spray. Get 10 plastic bags and 10 old socks. Put the socks in the bags, dump an entire bottle of ass spray per bag. They were completely soaked in the spray. I straight up almost vomited during this part from the concentrated smell of ass. Seal the bags, those all go into a fanny pack as well as some extra rubber gloves and the remaining bottle and a half of spray. The planning is over, now to carry on with the execution. It's the night of homecoming. I got my suit on with my fanny pack tucked in. I get in the places packed with people from all grades probably around 400 people. Get into the bleachers, grab my hanger. Thankful no one moved it. Walk outside the back excite, walk over to the door with ventilators inside. It's locked, as expected. And twist the hanger so it's one long hook. Shove it under the door, move it around and twist it a couple times. Yank it out the shoelace was raveled around the hook. Pull the shoelace opening the door from the inside. Get in and close the door, hard part is over. Since the door is locked from the outside, I can take my time executing this next part. Change over my clothes to my hoodie and mask. Take all the socks out of the bags and have them all ready in the fanny pack on my side. Guard the stench is putrid. Gather everything into the backpack, including hanger and shoelace. Glove up and get the reminder bottles of ass spray out. Pour them right into the ventilator. It'll take a minute to it. Only one more step of the plan. I step out the ventilator room and am outside the back of the auditorium, wearing my hoodie, mask and backpack. My fanny pack is open with my socks. Take a deep breath. It's time to run like hell. Hell charged in there like a maniac, throwing the smelly socks as I was running across the auditorium. It was a two-front attack by Aaron Ground, both executed by me. Everyone was scared like I was going to murder them. Throw my last sock and charge out of there as quick as possible. The adrenaline was real it felt like I was in there for maybe 5 minutes couldn't have been longer than 15 seconds in reality. As I was running out I heard everyone going apeshit over the smell. I couldn't stay for the aftermath I couldn't afford getting c As I'm running away from the school I'm taking off everything and shoving it into different people's trash can. I ran 3 miles back home I've never felt a thrill like that. Sneak inside, hop in shower. I check Facebook and see people from school posting about what happened. Shitstorm just ruined our homecoming. Just had to trash my suit because of shitstorm. Thank you for making homecoming interesting. Shitstorm. School had to close down for a month so they can get rid of the stench. Apparently those ventilators also leaked into the classes, made the local paper. Bryce said I ruined high school for him. For their shit storm was officially a legend. I never did anything that epic again other than the time I broke into Bryce's house. I assume you want that story so I'll start typing. Here is the B&D. After this nothing else is notable. Junior year. Shit storm was more of a vigilante at this point. I'd hit kids who I deemed deserved it. Bryce is trying to make his way up the food chain by bullying retards again. This time I was going to hit home for him. Literally. At this point Bryce had a car spoiled fuck. After school took note of the car he drove. Knew the general area he lived in but not the exact house. Ride around with my bike until I found it. I had no classes with Bryce this year so he wouldn't notice if I took a day off school. Dumb meathead left his window cracked. Thinks living on the second wouldn't matter. Shitstorm has already established he can hit you from above. Actually offended homecoming didn't leave that impression on him. After him and parents leave I climb on room and open his window. Obviously using rubber gloves to not leave fingerprints. I spray the fuck out of everything in his room. Clothes, bed, pillow, closet. Even sprayed the shit out of his cat. I'll go home and play Xbox for the rest of the day. Next day at school hear the news. Shitstorm sprayed his cat. Keckle. Ride my bike by his house after school. Two vans with professional cleaners parked outside his house. So I've recently moved Nick Badia merch over to Teesprings and have a few new designs. Listings are below the video and in the description. 
Just stop. Just stop it. Stop. No. Just stop it. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. What the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop! <laughs>